was coming through Texas on my way to Mexico. I needed some time to hide out. I should have known better. It didn't take too long before it started. It's not a good idea to be looking at Mr. Doyle's girl that way. I seem to remember a guy once told me this is a free country. Now you're free to go. Two bootlegging gangs from Chicago took over this town. You got Strazzi and the Italians on one side, and Doyle and his Irish boys on the other. Maybe I can make some money. Well, you came to the right place, sir, because everybody here is making a lot of money. His name's Smith. At least that's what he says. Did you get that car of yours fixed yet? I was hoping maybe you could help me pay the damages. I guess maybe you'll have to kill me. It'll hurt if I do. How would you like to kill Strazzi? I figure you for the kind of guy who goes to the highest bidder. A thousand dollars, Mr. Doyle. Nobody's worth that much. You shot some of our guys. Yes, I did. Once it deserved it. Mr. Doyle thought you and him had a deal. Somehow I had the feeling the walls were moving in on me. Now you've been going back and forth playing both sides. Making yourself a lot of money out of all this. For one little second you think you're gonna get away free and clear. You end up paying the price. Yep. No exceptions. Everybody pays the price. Hickey's coming directly for you. Don't be coming to me for help. I can about to tell you I quit. You don't quit me. Nobody quits me. What's you thinking about me when you're dying? I'll be in hell waiting for you. Nothing personal. 